Hello and welcome to today's art lesson online. Today we're going to be carrying on from what we were doing last lesson, which was this, just a little recap. We're going to be carrying on with it, but taking it to a whole new level. So rather than doing 3D tubes, we're going to be creating a whole cityscape. And this will be up to you to design, uh, create, and then hopefully paint as well. We're going to split this into two lessons. Today, it's going to be mainly about the drawing and the designing. And then next lesson, we'll be hopefully mixing paints, uh, maybe trying to make our own paints, and then kind of piecing it all together and finalising it. So hopefully this will be a lot of fun. Looking forward to it. Let's get started. To get the best result today, you need to make sure you're getting your line type correct. We have three type of lines today. We have a vertical line, which is one that goes straight up and down. You have a horizontal line, which is one that goes from left to right. And then we have a line that goes towards the vanishing point. If you imagine this being the vanishing point, then you can have a line coming from it wherever you want, as long as it's straight, that is a line to the vanishing point. As soon as we have random diagonal lines or slightly off lines that aren't either vertical, horizontal, or to the vanishing point, we're going to go wrong. So please remember that today, and then all should be great. Here is our vanishing point. We're going to start with a square. Please use a ruler if you would like to use a ruler. Um, and these lines that we're doing now, we want to do them quite light. We need to call these guidelines today, because parts of them we will be rubbing out. And once we've got that in place, we're then going to, remember what I said about the importance of vertical lines and horizontal lines, we're going to make sure that we are matching the roof line, so it's vertical there, so therefore down here it's vertical, and then we've got a horizontal line here, so therefore this one is also going to be horizontal. And then I can just darken these lines, and then we have a shape which will look like a building. Or at least when we finish it, it will look like a building. So I'm going to show you another one now. I've got a makeshift ruler. I don't actually have a ruler in the house, so I've uh, made this out of a bit of packaging. Hopefully my next building can be a little bit better. So to go through it again, we're going to be using our ruler this time. Let's get it right. To do a horizontal line. And I'm going to make the top of the building a little bit bigger this time. Another horizontal line and the vertical. Don't press too hard. Okay, so if we want a short building, we can draw the bottom of the building there, making sure that it is vertical, making sure you look at the roof line again. Um, or we could go uh, down lower if you wanted a really big building. Okay, so I'm going to choose the larger building this time around. So I'll rub that one away. Now just to emphasize the importance of the bottom of the building being the same as the roof line, um, so this needs to be a horizontal line, even if we go slightly out, so see the angle of the ruler here is not horizontal, it's going to eventually look a bit peculiar. Something else to be aware of today is if we have a square or rectangular shape that is directly below the vanishing point or to the side of the vanishing point, when you draw your guidelines to that vanishing point, you will only see one side of that building. That is correct, that is fine. So once you've had a go at trying your basic shapes, your square buildings um, or rectangular buildings, you can have a go at doing something a bit like this. So I'm going to draw a shape, a bit like an L shape roof. Um, this is going to be a little bit more interesting, especially when we draw the bottom of this building. Um, that's because we're going to have not only the corners that join to the vanishing point, and um, you can see here we've also got like a, I don't know what you'd call it, like an inner corner, which is also going to go to that vanishing point as well. Um, and then the bottom of the building, slightly trickier again, just look at the roof lines, check if it's a vertical or a horizontal, that will be your only choice. Horizontal and vertical. A quick reminder on what not to do, just two things. Uh, one is where the lines are random, and the other thing is where we do the roofs at an angle again, not going with that horizontal vertical theme. It's 
gonna make all the other ones look a bit weird. So that's a no as well. Okay, at this stage, it's probably worth talking over a few little things. The first is, is that I've tried to do this spire on this tower. I kind of made it up as I went along, but I think it looks okay. Um, I just did a, another point up here somewhere, just kind of in line with that vanishing point there. And then I just joined all the corners to that point. It worked out, it was a bit trial and error. You could try and have a go at doing something like that. The other thing that um, is gonna make a huge difference are your roads. So this vanishing point I'm going to turn into, I'm just going to do it lightly to start off with, some kind of roundabout. And the roads need to cut in quite close to the buildings. If your roads are going all the way around the buildings, it's, it's not going to help with that sense of perspective. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to about here and that road's going to go and cut behind the building. And I'm going to do something similar to this side as well. I'm going to probably get to about this stage. And maybe curl it around here. another building in here because I want to show you how to do windows um, you can see the example here to do windows you need to make sure you line up your ruler to that vanishing point and draw in your lines I'm going to try and get this one quite simple I'm going to add two lines to that side of the building then I'm going to do the same to this side double check you're lined up correctly to that vanishing point or else things will look a bit odd Okay, and once you've done that, you just have to go the same as the roof line. So on this side, it will be vertical lines, and then we'll have the horizontal this side. Bearing in mind that the further we get away from uh, the viewpoint, the, the closer these lines are gonna get together. I finish off now um, you can see that actually it looks a little bit better it's a bit time consuming but a little bit better if we just go in and add some of these kind of barriers to the roofs little, little walls just going around the outside of them yeah I think that looks a lot better yeah happy with that so I'm happy with my outcome it took me well over an hour so it should be enough to keep you occupied for a bit um, I've also got carried away, you can see some of these little areas here. Um, I've done sort of buildings on buildings and helipads and uh, various different you know, features that maybe you'd like to try when you get into it. But start basic and uh, the other bit of advice I suppose I could give you is uh, don't go from the outside in, start inwards and start building your city outwards. Um, I wouldn't do anything around this outside, I'd just do some kind of little micro city within the middle and uh, yeah, good luck with it and we will carry on with this on part two where we'll be hopefully painting it and fine lining and uh, trying a lot of different effects on what we produce today. Same as usual, best of luck.